All right, here's another thing. It feels like I kind of want to just chill and cruise a little bit more on this. Welcome to MCC Just Motos. Yo guys, it's Andy. I'm here at Harley Davidson of Baltimore, Live Wire of Baltimore, and I'm gonna go ride the new S2 Mulholland. I can't wait to tell you what I think. I'm a Live Wire S2 Del Mar owner, and I wanna tell you what I think about the Mulholland. I'm really interested on how it compares to the two. So let's go for a spin, and I'll tell you what my thoughts are, and, and, and yeah, let's just go for a spin, huh? All right, by now you've probably seen a lot of test ride videos on the Mulholland. So I'm not gonna get into specs and details so much, but I wanna go over a couple things that I don't think maybe a lot of people have talked about yet. Um, and I'm gonna give you my thoughts. So the thing I'm most excited about is the, the rubber on this, which I'll get to. Uh, but you see it's a little more bobberish, cruiserish style than the Delmar. Has a 19 inch front tire and a 17 inch rear. It's a big fat rear, almost like, like an FXDR style rear. So that's kind of cool. Back end is very similar to an FXDR and the front end is like a popped up chopper, almost like a 72 uh, Sportster uh, that they came out with. Pure Del Mar right there. Cool looking fins, some different cutaways and stuff. So style, um, man, it is definitely different. It's definitely more in the traditional cruiser or Harley style with a little bit, I mean, with a, a huge amount of sport in there. Um, but another thing I want to talk about is a lot of the materials um, are sustainable, recyclable, and, and eco-friendly. So the feel of the seat is pretty cool. And I think you can, uh, top, comes in either like a wine red, a gray, or a black seat and does have two up capability. So you can get two up passenger kit on there. Um, I think the, all the, all the, the, the plastics on it are like recycled plastic from the ocean. So that's cool. It looks like it has a little bit of a skid plate down there. I like that skid plate. That's really cool. And a lot of blacked out theme. You can see it doesn't really have a fuel tank because there's no fuel. It does have that uh, kind of a swing arm or just a, a mount for a fender, rear fender mount, and like pegs for uh, like almost like flat track or dirt pegs, but they're great for gripping and standing up. There's where you charge, it's very similar to my Delmar. And you can see there's the live wire heartbeat logo, ba bum ba bum flipped mirrors and flipped display. So 3.4 inch. Oh, another thing. So notice, look what they call it. They call it a Model 3, 003. So that's really neat. Look at these exposed wires. I think that's actually really nice looking, really neat touch. The fit and finish of quality on it, I think is uh, top notch. I like the real thin uh, turn signals and you have all LED. And now the part that I'm most excited about is this rubber. Um, you can see it's been ridden a little bit, but I'm hoping it's a little bit more grippy than what I love on the flat track style Delmar. But I think these should be better for the street. I think newer riders can get a little out of sorts if they give it too much power right off the bat in the corners and i'm hoping these tires can maybe uh add a little of that safety factor the other thing is the seat height's a, uh, i think a full inch lower than the delmar so i'm going to give you my thoughts on that and maybe this might be a better starter motorcycle um than the delmar i'll give you my thoughts on it if that's the case so let's go ride all right, so we're gonna go for a ride. It's pretty chilly out. So that's actually really good for me because again, when it's chilly out, those tires in the Delmar, I think they can get a little slippery and you gotta watch yourself. Um, oh, another thing, I moved this around. It do, it's very easy to move like in a parking lot or in a garage, especially with those high handlebars. You can really just move it around really easily. Um, all right, throwing a leg over, how's it feel? 
initially the handlebar is is much taller than the Delmar let's get these mirrors a little bit I gotta get used to them <laughs> we'll figure it out but all the controls are very similar and it's really easy to see the display um, what I like to see the display here I don't know it's aesthetic down there um, I'm not going to tell you about all the different modes and everything because by now you'll figure that out. Someone rid last rode in sport mode. I'm going to keep it in road mode for now. And we'll head on out. Actually, I'm going to go... Let's go regen. That's how I like to ride. Whoops. Okay, regen. Or echo mode. Let's see how it feels. So it definitely feels way different than a Delmar. Alright, let's go. Shut my visor here, it's cold. The rear set feels very similar to Delmar seating position. It really does. So the rear set and seat, even though there's, it's not as big as bump on the, on the rear end to slide you back, um, but you can slide forward more than Delmar a little bit it feels. Um, you can slide around on the seat a little bit more. It's a little bit flatter. It is it, okay. It feels like a, almost like a club style. Your 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 hands are much higher on this bike than on the Delmar. Yeah, go figure. But what that does, it makes the transition from side to side a little bit slower. It is. All right. So there's step number one that I want to hear. Transition to side to side. It's a tiny bit slower. Dramatically slower? No. This bike apparently weighs a little bit less than the Delmar 2. I can't tell the difference, to be honest. It does feel a little bit taller, like the center of gravity is taller. And I think that combined with the wider rear tire means the transition side to side is a little lower. Oh, you know what? So, yeah, this is way shorter of a motorcycle. It's not tiny small but you got a lot more ability to flat foot both feet the Delmar feels lighter just because I think the weight is lower that's that's my first take um, this one probably feels more comfortable for some folks with the handlebars a little taller and a lower seat height Is it, oh, the suspension. <laughs> I think this big fork. So I, I think the suspension is really nice on this. Um, oh man, these, uh, I gotta get used to these mirrors. I'm looking up and I should be looking down. <laughs> we just raised my elbow. Thank you. So I think the suspension feels more compliant, more plush. Dramatically? Mm noticeably how about that noticeably more compliant um, over bumps oh yeah much much more uh, I noticed that I wonder if the tires have something to do with that I wonder if the I don't know oh I really didn't get on it but it's as it feels very nice on the powertrain the handlebar definitely is not, I don't feel as, as wide as the Delmar. Maybe it's the exact same, but it, I don't know. Oh, you know what it is. All right, so the handle, the, the mirrors are flipped on the Delmar and you can rest your hands at the very end where you don't really have that so much. So it feels a little bit more narrow, but it's probably the same handlebar, I'm gonna guess. Not as flickable side to side, but it's definitely agile. And you know what? I really like these tires. They're smooth and they feel like they want to grip, 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 grip for days. So I, I got to look at what the name of the tires are. Alright, we'll take this corner. Oh, yeah. Interesting throttle mapping. Or, which I'll give you my thoughts in a bit. Oh, man. Oh, it feels very solid. Oh yeah, so I like it. 
um, I feel more comfortable deeper into a turn than I did on the Del Mar. So I think that has a lot to do with the tire specs. I'm not... Del Mar is like kind of, you know, like again, flat track, a little bit unruly. This one is smooth, comfortable, I like it. Yeah, it's comfortable, it's very narrow. You know what, I forget, the seat feels a little wider. That, yeah, that's it, okay, so that's another thing. All right, oh, these bumps are just soaking up the bumps, wow. That's nice. So the seat is definitely wider, that's another thing. I, I forget how it feels wider than the Del Mar. I think it's because of the seat. Um, even though it's a really narrow platform and battery, it definitely feels like a wider bike. Not, not like uncomfortably wider, but like more comfortably, right? <laughs> if that makes any sense. All right, here's another thing. I am not getting take this thing and just rip it hooligan style it feels like i kind of want to just chill and cruise a little bit more on this i haven't ripped on it yet and maybe that will change but uh yeah i just kind of want to just cruise like so maybe they nailed it on that regard it really feels like i'm a, <laughs> less more of a cruiser than um than Delmar, but yeah, go figure, right? I, I'm not even I'm not even standing up on these bumps and stuff that normally I would stand up on the Delmar, I'm not, and it's noticeably noticeably smoother. So when I get a little closer to my destination, I'm gonna rip on a little more, but I'm not doing that now because it really just wants me to, to kind of cruise. Um How's it feel for wind? I think there's a little more wind on this one. I think, I think the little, little tiny cafe headlighty fairingy thing on the Del Mar adds to a little bit better wind resistance or like smooth. There's just a little bit more wind, not a ton. You're actually are leaned over a little bit, not a ton. Um, I'm five nine, and I am leaned over a tiny bit but not a bunch so I don't want to say straight up and down because you're not I am leaning over a tiny bit without having to worry about a clutch this may be my you guys want to try an electric bike try this one you've never ridden a motorcycle you're a beginner rider try this one okay another thing I really like all right so I gotta do this the the hand controls are absolutely um, in a better position for me than on my Delmar. They are rotated so all the stuff faces you better instead of back. So I might just rotate the hand controls. I really like that. That was another little, I don't want to say nitpick, but something I would like to change on my Delmar is now it tells me I need to rotate these because they're so easy to control and get to. Very similar to my Pan America. I'm going to go to rain mode and I just want to feel what it feels like in rain mode. Still plenty of get up and grunt. Yep. Still plenty of grunt. Um, this is your... Maybe this is your beginner mode that you try is in rain mode, right? Yeah. So it's not super frantic, but plenty of torque and plenty of power. I will say, I think the Del Mar brake does feel a little more, gra not grabby, but a little stronger. And this could just be, needs to break in a little bit, but the Del Mar front brake does feel a tiny bit stronger, but this is still nice. I wonder if the ride modes are more, oh geez, because you're sitting up higher, you better hang on harder because I'm telling you, it wants to kind of throw you off. Yeah, because you are sitting higher, your center of gravity is rotated backwards. Um, so when you really nail it, it feels like it wants to throw you off the bike more than on the Del Mar. So you better hang on. 
All right. <laughs> yeah. You still get a hit. You still get a hit. And these these tires are nice. It feels more solid. Biggest bump yet, and it's fine. Man, it's so nice to have options, isn't it? All right, we are done with the ride. I'm gonna give you my final wrap-up thoughts. Very cool. All right, guys, I went for my test ride on the Mulholland, and I think I'm kind of a little bit in a unique position where I can really tell you the big difference is I feel off the bat. Um, if you're a new rider, I think this might be a little more comfortable for you to get into motorcycling. You don't have to worry about clutch, lower seat height, and the tires have a good stick and feel to them. Um, but what's really cool is that we have options, right? You got options, Livewire 1. You have options of the Delmar. You got options of the Mulholland. What's next, Livewire? What's next? But it's so cool to have options. Uh, you know, there is a big difference in feeling for me. Really, the thing that's really the thing that stuck out the most was just not quite as nimble side to side transition, but a much more comfortable ride, more damped, better I think, as well as uh, maybe a little higher handlebar and just a cruiser esque feel, and maybe want to cruise more a little bit. And also the tires stuck really nicely, which which I think is a great great thing to have happen. Who doesn't like sticky tires? All right, guys, that's gonna do it for me. Please like and subscribe. We'll catch you in the next episode. What comments do you have? Drop them below. I'll answer them. And thanks for watching. Please don't forget a huge thank you to Harley Davidson Baltimore Live of Baltimore for letting me ride the S2 Mulholland.